At Blue Sky Investing, we use incisive and methodical analysis to provide you with insights and perspective for your investing journey. On April 15, Scorpion Capital published a scathing rip short report on the solid-state EV battery startup QuantumScape claiming that they had interviewed several EV battery experts and ex-QuantumScape employees and arrived at a conclusion that QuantumScape claims on their superior solid-state battery technology were bogus. This drove the quantum stakes stock off of a cliff and the stock dropped more than 20% in a single day as investors panicked and sold off quantum scape stock. Scorpion Capital founder, chief investment officer and author of the short report, Kirk Callon, gave an interview to CNBC on their short report findings. Link can be found in the description below. Today we will analyze Mr. Callon's responses to the CNBC anchor's questions and determine if his responses pass the smell test and ultimately should you buy the dip in QuantumScape stock. The first question the anchor asks, tell us the details of your short position on QuantumScape stock. Mr. Callon says, we are short on QuantumScape stock and it's a big position, I cannot tell you more. You can observe that the response lacks transparency. Why can't he disclose the details of their short position? The next question the anchor asks, did you close part or whole of your short position today? No comments. You can observe here, Mr. Callon responds that he cannot comment on the day-to-day -day trades uh, as part of their policy. Again. A cryptic response with no clear details if they bought the stock when it dipped after they published their short report. The next question the anchor asks, why didn't you provide the names of the battery experts you consulted? Mr. Callon says, we respect the confidentiality of the battery experts. The lack of any transparency in the responses is now more than clear. Why hide the names of these experts if these claims are true, then eventually these experts would gain more credibility in the industry. Are these experts scared that they may be wrong? This raises serious doubts if Scorpion Capital even consulted any of the actual EV battery experts. Next, the anchor asks how Scorpion Capital cites the same data that QuantumScape presented in December 2020 to market their breakthrough technology but arrives at a negative opinion. Mr. Callan's response is terse. The data doesn't stand up to scrutiny, he says. Being the author of this article and the founder and chief investment officer of Scorpion Capital, the lack of specifics in his response here is surprising. He briefly in mentions the absence of use of standard industry metrics, but beyond that hardly packs any punches with data and facts that would back up their research and pull down quantum scape battery technology. This was his opportunity to articulate in a compelling manner why their findings had merit, but he completely failed in doing so. Next, the anchor asks the obvious question. All employees interviewed were former employees who had left the company many months ago. They would not have the latest insights into QuantumScape's progress on their battery technology. Mr. Callon's response is shocking. He says the science or technology will not change in a few months. This is where the interview really falls apart for me. The pace of technology evolution today is such that the entire industry industries can get disrupted in a matter of few months as evidenced by the recent pandemic and the shift towards digitization. To sum it up, Mr. Callon's responses lack transparency, fall short in a big way on specifics and hardly attribute any credibility to the short report findings. In his own words from this interview, his responses don't stand up to scrutiny. Full disclosure, I am lock long quantum scape stock and I am buying the dip. This is not financial advice. Please consult a financial advisor for your investment decisions. Thank you and happy investing.